I was a kid, I'd take a trip every summer down to Mississippi to visit my granny in her antebellum world. I'd run barefooted all day long, climbing trees as trees a song, and one day I happened to catch myself a squirrel. Stuffed him down in an old shoebox and punched a couple of holes in the top. When Sunday came, I snuck him into church. I was sitting way back in the very last pew, showed him to my good buddy Hugh, when that squirrel got loose and went totally berserk. Well, what happened next is hard to tell. Some thought it was heaven, others thought it was hell. But the fact that something was among us was plain to see. As the choir sang, I surrender all. That squirrel ran up Harv Newman's coveralls. Harv jumped to his feet, said, something's got a hold on me. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting hallelujah. Well, how hard hit the aisles dancing and screaming. Some thought he had religion, others thought he had a demon. Hard thought he had a weed eater loose in his fruit of the looms. Well, he fell to his knees to plead and beg, and the squirrel ran out of his bridge's leg, unobserved to the other side of the room. All the way down to the Amen pew where sat Sister Bertha better than you who've been watching all this commotion with sadistic glee. <laughs> should you should have seen the look in her eyes when that squirrel jumped her garters and crossed her thighs. She jumped to her feet and said, Lord, have mercy on me. <laughs> Well, the squirrel made laps inside her dress. She began to cry and then to confess to sins that would make a sailor blush with shame. She told the gossip and church dissension, but the, the thing that got the most attention <laughs> when she started talking about her love life, and then she started naming names. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting, Hallelujah! Well, seven deacons and the pastor got saved, and $25,000 got raised, and 50 volunteered for missions in the Congo on the spot. And even without an invitation, there were at least 500 rededications, and we all got rebaptized whether we needed it or not. Now, you heard the Bible story, I guess, how he parted the waters for Moses to pass. Oh, the miracles God has wrought in this old world. But the one that I'll remember till my dying day is how he put that church back on the narrow way with a half-crazed Mississippi squirrel. The day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting, Hallelujah!